This is a Geiger Muller tube. It detects radiation. This machine makes the counts audible. You may be able to hear that every so often there is a count detected. That's the general background radiation. Here we have a radioactive source. It will emit either alpha, beta or gamma radiation or a combination of the radiations. We can detect this radiation using this detector. As you might be able to hear, the radiation, some of the radiation from this source can penetrate the lid and the glass casing of the source. I'm now going to remove the lid so that we're detecting all the radiation and we're not having any lost through the plastic. As you might be able to hear and as you can see the counts per minute have gone up quite dramatically. I'm now going to use a piece of paper to detect to try and block the radiation. Paper and similar thickness and density objects can block alpha ray, alpha particles. As you can hear, the counts haven't gone down at all, so there are little to no alpha particles being emitted from this source. I'm now going to put a thin sheet of aluminium over the source to try and block any beta particles. The counts do go down slightly, however, there are still some counts on the machine, quite a few. This will only block the very low energy beta particles. I shall now put a thicker sheet of aluminium across. This has quite rapidly reduced the number of particles that are being detected. It is most likely this is a beta source. I shall now put some lead across. We have no counts since lead will block alpha, beta and gamma radiation. So this is most likely a beta source due to the fact that the aluminium was blocking the particles. Yeah, you can stop it now.